is Mr. Roberto. Actually, I'm known around here as Mr. Roberto, but my name, my full name is Roberto Carlos Ascalon, the program manager at the Bureau of Fearless Ideas. And I am a spoken word artist and a teaching artist and a teacher. The goals of this program are to um, do writing and storytelling in a kind, creative, fearless way. We engage um, different uh, folks in the community. How do we get um, our young people to engage with their elders? How do we get storytelling, creativity, and kindness and fearlessness um, across to folks who don't uh, speak the same language as we do? Our project here um, engages mostly with Yesler Terrace residents. And so I'd say right now, it's around 90, 95% Yesler Terrace residents. So what we do um, is we recruit and we invest in uh, a pipeline from very young folks here at Yesler Terrace to mentors. My name is Gary Alexander. I'm the coordinator here at Yesler Community Center. I've been here for quite a few years. I've been working in recreation for a little more 30 years. So what I do is I oversee the community center. Our operation includes um, having youth programs, adult programs, senior programs, and as of right now we have our summer day camp program. Some are in our basketball camp, some are in our girls program, uh, some are in our summer pre-day camp program, and some are in our basketball camp. So we're doing really well. Well, so the hope is that we can find somebody to donate some equipment so that we can reopen up our computer lab, because we had a computer lab years ago and so I had to close it down because of funding, but the hope is that um, somebody might donate some computers like Microsoft or somebody, and so then we can continue to offer programs to the community. Um, COVID is um, one of them things where it um, has certainly made me more aware of my surroundings. My name is Raquel. I am working with MMRTI. I am in their high school filmmaking program. Uh, I like all the opportunities it gives me. It gets me a chance to practice my journalism skills. Um, I'm recently learning how to conduct interviews, uh, what questions to ask and how to ask them, be polite. Uh, I also get, to, also get to learn how to use mics and use all this equipment. Uh, I never knew about all the different types of lighting you can provide a camera as you're interviewing someone. I didn't even know how to use a film camera before, how to adjust the settings or even how to turn it on or off. And also uh, I would really just like it to include more people. Right now we have a pretty low number of people. We have like eight people and I really think the program could just be expanded to you know, include, I, I would really like to see a program with like 15 people and really just up the number. Hi, I'm Christina. I'm the tutoring supervisor at Yesler Terrace's youth tutoring program.
I think this program helps the Yesler community because it helps out the scholars. So majority of our scholars are East African scholars, so they can come from Ethiopia, Eritrea, um, Somalia. Uh, we also have some scholars from East Asia, like Vietnamese scholars or um, scholars from China. Um, we also serve scholars from like Latin America countries as well. So we love anyone who comes from the Yesler area. I would just say focus on, you know, making the scholars happy, but making sure that they are healthy, uh, making sure that they have some sort of learning at the end of the day, and keeping them active in whichever way that is possible.